Buenas noches. Um, it's funny because when Neil um, emailed me to say if I could come and, and talk a little bit tonight, I said, Neil, but what do you want me to talk about? And he just wrote three words. He said, talk about pride. So I started thinking, and I thought, OK, pride, pride. OK, but um, pride, what are the things in my life where I really, or what are those things in my life that I, where I feel pride? And isn't it funny how those things where I feel pride are the things where, for some people, might be considered second class or minority or second citizen. And I started going through all the lists, and I realized that I checked them all. I'm Latino, check. I'm brunette, mm, check. <laughs> I am gay, check, check, check. And and then I thought it's crazy because this is where I feel the most what, the thing the, this is where I feel the most proud of, and you know I come from Venezuela. When I grew up, as I was growing up, I live in extreme fear um, of coming out and saying that I was gay. Now I live in Los Angeles. I have a nine-year-old. My house doesn't have any bars and the windows. And I remember this feeling of fear that I had when I was very little that took many, many years until I moved to New York. And now that I'm in LA, I live my life like many of us. And after what happened in Orlando, for the first time in many, many years, I have so much fear again. And I would like to ask, and I don't want to stand myself, I expand. Um, after what happened, are you afraid? I am afraid. Do you feel fear? I raise my hand. I have so much fear again. But this fear is different than the one th that I felt when I was little. Because now I have a nine-year-old. And she's a girl. And I'm afraid that she might get hurt because she has two mommies. I'm afraid that I get hurt and she won't have a mom. And I'm especially afraid that she cannot grow up to live and be whoever she wants to be when she's older, just like I have been doing until now. So what do I choose and what do I tell you to choose if you feel that fear that I'm feeling right now? I choose not to live in it and I choose not to stand on that fear because it is in situations like this, in the work like this, where I feel that I can have all the strength in the world to not feel that fear, to stand on my ground, and to make sure my daughter can have that path that we can walk, and that path where she can be free. And how do we achieve that? By just doing what we're doing tonight. Standing as a community, and especially not f live in that fear. And that is when Neil told me, Talk about pride, that is my pride, is to not live in fear and really, truly, truly feel the pride. And so proud to be a gay woman and so proud to be here with all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you.